It's time to go inside the Octagon, presented by Ram Trucks with Ariel Helwani. Helwani, basketball season has started. My Rockets look amazing. Have the Knicks been eliminated from the playoff yet, bud? You know what, DC, how dare you? Go wash your mouth out with soap while I talk to my good friend, Brian Stan. That was a low <laughs> blow, and I actually don't appreciate it. Brian, let's talk about some real MMA news here. I just spoke to Ryan Bader's manager, Dave Martin. And I was wondering what's next for Ryan Bader. Of course, he's coming off a couple big wins here. And he said they are very intrigued by a fight against Phil Davis, who's coming off a win on Saturday in Rio. You were there over Glover Teixeira. They like this matchup. They think it makes a lot of sense. And Bader just welcomed another kid into this great world. He was nursing a hand injury, but he's ready to get back in there, hoping for a return early 2015, which might jive with Phil Davis' schedule. Although Phil told me that he's getting his hand checked out tomorrow. He may have seriously injured it. He's not quite sure right now. He didn't want to comment on the fight. But if you ask Ryan Bader, they want that fight and they think it makes a lot of sense. What do you think, Brian? Let's start with you. You know, I think it's great timing for that fight. And here's the reason why both guys are coming off their best fights of their career against top 10 guys. So I think it makes a whole lot of sense. For Phil Davis, he's actually going to be taking a step back by fighting fight Ryan Bader. But I think Bader's ability to wrestle will force Phil to actually stand. And it actually may benefit him in the long run because he'll have to be more comfortable inside of the octagon. And there's just nobody else available. Yeah, I mean, he called out Anderson Silva, but I don't think that's <laughs> happening anytime soon. Let's stick with the light heavyweights. I spoke to our pal Rashad Evans just a couple of days ago, and he told me that he was approached with the idea of fighting Alexander Gustafson early 2015, but he said his leg is still weak, and he doesn't know if he'll be able to come back that soon. Of course, he's coming off ACL surgery, and he, he was a little concerned. So he said he's going to go hard this week in training and really get a sense for where he's at. Now, of course, you know, the original plan was to have Gustafson fight Anthony Johnson, but Anthony Johnson is still indefinitely suspended. So if he can't get Anthony Johnson, and let's say Rashad can't take the fight as well, what do you guys do with Alexander Gustafson, DC? Well, my whole thing is I want him to fight Rashad Evans. I hope Rashad Evans feels good after this week of training because I think a win over Rashad Evans just feels better than beating Jimmy Manoa. Now, the concern for Rashad is not one week of hard training. How does he feel five, six weeks into a real training camp? Yeah, you know, the only replacements I can think of is you've got now Shogun is going to fight OSP, maybe the winner of that fight. You know, I have heard maybe Anthony Johnson's his whole thing. It clears up soon enough. If not, I like Phil Davis first, Alexander Gustafson again. Gus is going to need a top 10 guy to merit another title shot. All right, let's move up to the heavyweight division. Let's talk about a couple of streaking heavyweights. First, Andre Arlovsky. His manager, Leo Korolinski, just told me that a couple of days ago, Arlovsky underwent arthroscopic uh, surgery on his left shoulder. So he's going to be out for six to eight weeks. That's the timetable that he was given by his doctor. And right now, they're not thinking about what's next or whatnot. They just want to get well from the shoulder surgery. Now let's talk about Mark Hunt. Last week, we told you Mark Hunt will now be fighting Fabrizio Verdum on November 15th for the interim heavyweight title. He is in Mexico City right now because, well, you know, when, when, when this fight was announced, people People were excited, but they said, wow, remember Mark Hunt in Denver, UFC 135 with the high altitude? He was huffing and puffing by the end of the fight. He, he went to Mexico right after finding out that he was getting the fight. His team has arrived today, and he's going to stay in Mexico until November 15th. He's not going back home. And remember, Mexico higher above sea level than Denver is, so he understands that he needs to do this. Are you guys concerned about Mark Hunt fighting that high above sea level? You know, well, certainly you're always going to be a little concerned with it because he is a bigger guy, but Mark Hunt has been in the fight game for a very long time. He's on a hot streak. His fight against Roy Nelson wasn't that long ago, so I think he's going to be ready. Smart. Smart decision by Mark Hunt. He's taking this opportunity for what it is. Yeah, I was very happy to hear that as well. Uh, two more things, guys, before I go. Nick Lentz told me that he wants the winner of Dennis Bermudez versus Ricardo Lamas. That fight, of course, taking place on November 15th, UFC 180 in Mexico City. He wants a big fight at 145, and he thinks that fight makes a lot of sense for him. And one more thing, DC, I think you'll like this. Your pal, John Jones, is in talks right now with Reebok, and he's been talking to some big name sponsors, of course, no longer with Nike. I'm hearing that Reebok is, you know, atop that leaderboard, and we may see him linked up with them sooner rather than later, perhaps even for your fight against them.